Hi students, class 9, Algebra, Consistence and Inconsistency of Linear Equation in Two Variables. First we try the, what are the linear equations in two variables. Let me take it as the general form a1x plus b1y plus c1 is equal to 0 and then a2x plus b2y plus c2 is equal to 0. Let me take it as 1 and 2 equation. Like this we can perform more and more equations. Here we are going to take only two equation and then condition is a1, a2 and b1, b2 is not equal to 0. That is the conditions. Because a, b, c are the real numbers by linear equation 2 variables means the a1, a2, b1, b2 are not equal to 0. That is the condition. Now, first of all we want to know what is the consistence and inconsistency. Consistence means we can desire one thing corresponding or we can use the word corresponding or congruent or sure if you take one line like this means for this equation a1 for first equation we take the line like this means that the consistency means then the another line also we have that same format in different angles where either may be intersect or may not be intersect here the line 2 is the line 1 right or we have coincide also we have that coincide l1 and l2 also this are called a consistency whenever we say consistency surely we have the values surely we have the solution so consistency means let me take it as if the two two lines are intersected if two lines are intersected if two lines are intersected intersecting line so if the two lines are intersecting means clearly we get only one solution one single solution or we can say it's a unique solution single solution or we can say it is a unique solution and for the this is called a consistency example for consistency and then again we have the consistency for examples if the two lines are coincide one line is here let me take it as l l1 is the line right and then coincide means the line is appeared in itself right the coincide another line is the same position here the another line is l2 means we can say it is a coincide it will be mingled together it has for this the lines are coincide we can find out infinitely many solution we can find infinitely many solution infinite number of solution or many solution right next one if the this these are the example for consistency the two lines are intersected we get a solution surely consistency means surely we have the solution if the solution may be a one solution or infinite number of solution so surely we get a solution means we can say it is a consistency right so intersecting means we get coincide means we get the solution next for inconsistence for inconsistency the two lines are not intersected not intersected means then the two lines are parallel let me take it as l1 l2 these two lines are parallel means there is no intersected there is no coincide then we can say it is here parallel line if the two lines are not meet at one place or many places we cannot able to find the solution so it has no solution so consistence means clearly we have solution inconsistence means we have no solution we have no solution for this graphical method we can 
टेक लाइक दिस और इन एलजिब्रिक मेथड बाय यूजिंग दिस टू इक्वेशन बाय एलजिब्रिक मेथड वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड हाउ वी आर गोइंग टू गेट द इन कंसिस्टेंस और इनकन्सिस्टेंट सोल्यूशंस बाय एलजिब्रिकली हियर वी हैव कंसिस्टेंसी एंड इनकन्सिस्टेंस फॉर कंसिस्टेंस For consistent, we have taking the coefficients of the variable. We are taking the coefficients of the variable. Consistent, it has unique solution means a one divided by a two is not equal to b one divided by b two. For this is not satisfied means we have a unique solution that is one solution. If the coefficient of x the ratio ratio of the coefficient of x is not equal to ratio of the coefficient of y then we have a unique solution for example let me take that equation 2x minus 4y is equal to 7 x minus 3y is equal to minus 2 for this the ratio of the coefficient of x is 2 by 1 a1 divided by a2 is equal to the ratio of the coefficient of y is minus 4 divided by minus 3 if both the is cancel means 2 by 1 is equal to 4 by 3 is equal or not equal this is not equal let us equal to not equal so this type of if you solve this equation we get a unique solution only one solution by this method next one for the consistent we have a1 divided by a2 is equal to b1 divided by b2 is equal to c1 divided by c2 that is the the ratio of the coefficient of x is equal to ratio of the coefficient of y and then ratio of the coefficient of constant terms all are equal the by the second condition it has infinite number of solution it has infinite number of solution for example we take it as 4x plus y is equal to 3 then 8x plus 2y is equal to 6 See the ratio. The ratio of the coefficient of x is 4 by 8 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 3 by 6. If you reduce this, we get 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 2. So all the equations are equal, right? The ratios are equal. Then we get an infinite number of solution for this two equation. And then third one is inconsistent. Third one is inconsistent. i already told you inconsistent means we have no solution by in algebraic method that the coefficient the ratio of coefficient of x is equal to ratio of coefficient of y and then is not equal to ratio of the coefficient of ratio of the constant term see the ratio of the coefficient of x is equal to ratio of the coefficient of y and then the constant term is not equal by this we have no solution For example, let me take this to equation that is 4x plus 7 is equal to 2y, and then 2x plus 9 is equal to y. This is another equation. See the coefficient of x is 4 by 2, and then coefficient of y is 2 by 1, and then constant term is 7 by 9. If you reduce this, we get 2 by 1, 2 by 1. Is equal to seven by nine. See, these two are equal, but the constant term is not equal, so it has no solution for this equation. So, consistency means by the algebraic method, a one by a two is not equal to b one by b two means we have unique solution. If all the ratios are equal, we have infinitely many number of solution. For inconsistency, we have the coefficient of x and y are equal, but Ratio of coefficient of x and y is equal, but the constant ratio is not equal. Means we have no solution. By this is the algebraic method. By graphically, the intersecting means we have one solution. Coincident means we have many solution, and parallel means no intersection means no solution for this. Thank you, students.